friends myself shoptapurni from biolive hope all of you are doing very well today i am going to discuss about the previous year's question paper and its solution of wbpsc zoology paper 2018 the wbpsc zoology examination is knocking at the door uh, though the date has been revised again okay uh, the exam has been postponed due to uh, due to the election but it is the high time to revise the previous year's question okay so without further delay let's begin so before beginning if you are new to my channel i would like to request you to kindly subscribe to my channel by pressing the bell button given below and if you like my video don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and don't uh, forget to leave a comment below in the comment section so okay let's begin The first question asks: Skeleton of sponges is produced by pinacocyte, thescocytes, quanocyte, or sclerocytes. The skeleton of sponges is produced by sclerocytes. Okay, sclerocytes produce the siliceous or calcareous spicules. Okay, which uh, makes the uh, skeleton of sponges. Next, sesosilic phyla are. There are three sesosilic phyla: Annelida, Arthropoda, and Mollusca. So, correct answer is option C. Coming to the third question, most advanced mollusk belong to which class? The most advanced mollusk belong to Cephalopoda class. Cephalopoda. Next, the third molting of ascaris takes place in our lung. Okay. Coming to the fifth question. In Escherichia coli, the tRNA is formed from the DNA by the enzyme. See, whenever they are asking about tRNA formation, obviously it would be your RNA polymerase three. Okay, so here correct answer would be option C, RNA polymerase. Now, opposite sex of holotype is known as allotype. Coming to the seventh question. Which one of the following effects is not brought about by the secretion of luteinizing hormone? Whenever the luteinizing hormone is secreted or it is at its peak level of secretion, then after that ovulation occurs, progesterone secretion increases, but never but estrogen secretion never increases. Okay, before the LH surge, uh, the estrogen secretion drops down. So here, correct answer would be or option B, estrogen secretion. Now, the question number eight: Urea is directly produced in mammals from. In mammals, the ammonia is released by the oxidative deamination, and this ammonia reacts with water and carbon dioxide and forms the citrulline, and from where. Ultimately, urea is formed. Okay, so correct answer would be option A. Ah, uh, and see here the oxidative deamination of purine actually gives rise to uric acid. Okay, so our correct answer is option A. Now coming to the question number nine, the shape of the sperm of ascaris is. In ascaris, we can see the sperms are of peculiar shape. They are actually Amoeboid in shape, so correct answer would be amoeboid. Okay, now if a uh, double stranded DNA GC content is fifty six percent, then the percent of T content in GN DNA will be C. GC content is fifty six percent, so A T content would be forty four percent. Okay, so obviously. The content of C will be twenty two percent. So correct answer is option B, twenty two percent. Now coming to the question number eleven, albinism is caused by the mutation in tyrosinase gene. Okay, tyrosinase is responsible for production of melanin. Okay, and abnormality in the production of melanin causes the albinism. Now question number twelve, very important one. When frequency of a hypothetical allele can become zero after just one round of random mating. Okay, so the options are: it is recessive in homozygous condition, it is lethal in homozygous condition, 
uh, it is dominant lethal or the frequency of an allele can never become zero after just one round of random mating. The correct answer would be your option C. It is dominant lethal. See when it is dominant lethal, okay, then the allele frequency of that allele will be zero. See, say here the allele is capital A, okay. So obviously the allele frequency of A which we can write as P equal to P square plus 2PQ. Okay. But here the uh, allele frequency if it is dominant lethal then P square will be 0. Okay. Because P square res uh, relates to the genotype capital A capital A. And 2PQ will also be 0 because it relates to the genotype capital A small a and as it is dominant lethal so both of these there will be no uh, offspring will be produced by these two genotypes so obviously the allele frequency of capital A will be zero in the next generation okay now coming to the question number 13 the nucleic acid absorb uvulite most strongly at 254 to 260 nanometer next question which one of the following is non-poisonous snake? Here the python is non-poisonous snake. Next, in amphioxus, in addition to paired nephridia, there is a single nephridium known as hatchek nephridium. Okay, the correct answer would be hatchek nephridium. Next, the dynamics of any subpopulation within a population differs from that of the normal population in that the immigration and emigration rates are significantly greater. Next question, how many biodiversity hotspots are found in India? The correct answer would be option C, four hotspots are there. What are those? Those are our uh, Himalaya, then our Western Ghat, Sundaland and Indo-Burma. Next, in which mass extinction uh, the Earth has witnessed the highest loss of biodiversity. The correct answer would be end of Permian. Okay. Uh, during this mass extinction, almost 70% of the uh, vertebrates were lost from the, um, from, the uh, land, from the earth. Okay. Next, horned toad is a reptile, mammal, amphibian or fish. So from the name you can mistakenly answer it as amphibians but no horned toad is a kind of lizard so correct answer would be reptiles. Next which of the following is a post-zygotic isolating mechanism in speciation? The hybrid sterility is the post-zygotic isolating mechanism in the speciation. Okay. When the zygote is formed after the fertilization, then only hybrid sterility occurs and uh, it is a kind of isolating mechanism. So, correct answer is option D. Now, coming to the question number 21. The type of microscope useful for the study of living cell without staining. Whenever there is written as study of living cell without staining, the answer would be blindfoldedly phase contrast microscope. Okay. Next question, compensation level in an aquatic ecosystem is the one where oxygen release in photosynthesis balances the loss by respiration. So correct answer is option D. Now coming to the question number 23, when an animal population produces substance harmful to the competing population, that kind of interaction is known as allelopathy. Okay. Next which one of the following can achieve protection and conservation of biodiversity? The correct, correct answer is biosphere reserve. Next, which is the correct sequence of zonation in the lentic environment? In the lentic environment, we can see that at the bottom level, we can find profoundal zone or aphotic zone, then the sublittoral zone and uh, at the uh, top level, the littoral zone. So obviously, the answer will be your 3, 2, 1, option D. Okay. Now, what is photoperiodism? The photoperiodism is the response of an organism to the duration of light. Okay, to the duration of light. So, correct answer is option C. Now, coming to the question number 27. Which of the following is the correct sequential step 
in the complete process of primary ecological succession in primary ecological succession first of all they need uh, a nudation that means there should be a uh, presence of bare land then new species uh, then uh, will invade that place that is known as invasion and then competition and reaction will be uh, occurring between those species and ultimately stabilization will uh, establish it okay will be established so correct answer is option c next ratios between energy flow at different points along the food chain when expressed as percentage are called ecological efficiencies option b okay now coming to the question number 29 the productivity is the amount of organic matter produced per unit area per unit time so correct answer is option b next genetic drift results in whenever the genetic drift occurs the uh, variation gets decreased okay as a result there is also the decrease in the population size so correct answer would be option d now coming to the question number 31 circadian rhythm is the ability to time and repeat functions at 24 hours intervals linked to the daylight okay obviously there will be a 24 hours interval and it should always be linked to the daylight okay next question the evolution of a species based upon some total of adaptive changes is preser preserved by very easy one our natural selection okay now coming to the question number 33 in which condition gene frequency remains equilibrium of a species okay uh, c in case of gene flow mutation or sexual selection the gene frequency will get changed but in case of random mating there will be no change in the gene frequency so it will be remained constant or in equilibrium so correct answer is option c random mating next quasarvets were experimentally produced by sydney fox and operin very informative one Next question, which one of the following sequences was produced by Darwin and Wallace for organic evolution? Okay, so for organic evolution, first of all, the overproduction, then variation, then constancy of population size, and at last, the natural selection. So, correct answer is option A. Next, factors destabilizing the hardy Winberg populations are migration, inbreeding, mutation, or all of the above all of this migration inbreeding mutation all of these actually destabilize the hydri winberg population so correct answer is option d question number 37 the numerical one see here they have given the uh, frequency okay of genotypes capital a capital a is present 238 then capital a small a 152 and small a small a 36 so from here we can write p square Okay, that means the uh, genotype frequency of capital A, capital A is 238, then 2PQ, okay, is 152 and Q square equal to 36. So, total um, 6, 426, okay. So, among 426, you have to find out uh, from, uh, you have to find out the uh, allele frequency of capital A and small a. So, the allele frequency of capital A is P square plus half of 2PQ, okay. So, it is P square means here your 238 plus half of 2PQ, 2PQ means 152. So, it is 238 plus half of 2PQ that means 14676. So, it is 8, 6, 14, uh, 11, 1, 3, 1, 4. So, 314 out of 426. So, it is 0.737. So, obviously, the allele frequency of small a will be 1 minus 0 0.737 so it will be 0 0.263 so your correct answer is option d option d okay 
Now coming to the question number 38. The poisonous fluid present in the nematocyst of Portuguese man of war or physelia is known as hypnotoxin. Okay, very very important one. Hypnotoxin, the poisonous fluid present in the nematocyst. Now coming to the question number 39. The botryoidal tissue is found in it is found in the phylum Annelida in class Hirudinia. Okay, it is a kind of tissue which invades the uh, silomic space of Hirudinia. So, correct answer is option A. Next, in Mollusca, the eye is present over a stalk which is known as our omatophore. Okay, very easy one. Next question. Sorry, collar cells are characteristics of Collar cells are present in, are found in Poriferans. So, it is the characteristics of sponges. Okay. Next question. Which of the following hormone regulates growth and metamorphosis in insect? The growth and metamorphosis in insect is regulated by egg Dyson hormone or 20E. Okay. Egg Dyson hormone. So, correct answer is option C. Next. Venom of viper affects our circulating system because it is a hematoxin okay hemo hematotoxin next secondary radial symmetry is found in echinoderms why because the larva of echinoderms shows the bilateral symmetry whereas the adult shows the radial symmetry which is known as the secondary radial symmetry next question electron microscope is based on the principle of electromagnetic theory resolution of glass lenses magnification of glass lenses refraction of light see here no glass lens is used in the electron microscope or no light is used in the electron microscope so correct answer is electromagnetic theory next question informative one who developed electron microscope for the first time correct answer is Noll and ruska Next question, which of the following techniques other than the microscopy can be used for study of an individual cell? So, for single cell analysis, we can I, use microscopy and we can also use chromatography. Okay, so correct answer is option C. Next, semi-autonomous genomic system is present in mitochondria and chloroplast. Okay, next question. What is metachromatia? Metachromatia is the staining of a cell component by a stain that gives the other color. Okay. That means the uh, dye or stain has a, a particular color. But when it stains the cellular component, it gets converted into another color. Okay. For example, when we uh, uh, stain the mast cells with toluidin blue, uh, those cells gets uh, colored into bright red okay next the membrane potential of the cell favors the movement of cations into the cell movement of anions, anions into the cell action of proton pump or action of the electrogenic pump c at resting membrane the resting mem at resting membrane potential or at rest the uh, inside of the uh, membrane okay or inside of the cell is negatively charged and outside is positively charged so obviously the negative charge will uh, attract the positively charged ions or cations inside the cell so correct answer would be movement of cations into the cell okay so with this i end today's video here i hope this video will be very useful for your upcoming examination and i will bring up other 50 question the rest 50 question in my uh, next video for the time being thanks for watching and happy learning